reigning world champion. We will turn our attention to the men's singles, where the former winner here at the French Open, Cho Chen Chen of Chinese Taipei, the number four seed, is up against Ho Kwan Hee of Korea. And we will turn our attention to the lower part of the half. And Cho Chen Chen and Kento Momota are the only two seeded players left in the, the draw. And uh, I think we are in for a very, very exciting match. Cho Chen Chen used a lot of energy yesterday when he was playing Kenta Nishimoto of Japan. After, I think it was 80 minutes of play, he secured the win. So will he have the strength to go on to win yet another one today? And as you can see, there's uh, many stubbles going on on the adjacent court between Gideon and Sukumoli of Indonesia, the number one seeds, and Alfian and Arianto also for Indonesia, from Indonesia. And it's 11 all in the third game, just to keep you informed. But here we've got the players coming on to court. It's Cho Chen Chen of Chinese Taipei. He lost the quarter-final last week at the Denmark Open to Li Chuk Yu of Hong Kong, China. And is making his ninth appearance here at the French Open. And a former winner, as I told you, in 2014. His opponent, Ho Kwang Hee, is only making his second appearance here at the French Open. And he lost the first round last week in the Denmark Open to Kanta Sunyama of Japan. And we will have the toss of the coin while, as you can see, it's one all between these two players when it comes to the head-to-head. Red. OK. OK. So Cho Chen Chen won the toss and chose ends. First time that Ho Kwang Hee played in this tournament that was back in 2016, and he had to qualify through the qualification, but did not make it into the main draw. His opponent of today, Cho Chen Chen of Chinese Taipei, he is now 31 years of age. He is presently number four on the world ranking and is based on 29 tournaments. He spent 33 weeks as world number two and last time was on the 17th of March, 2020. And as you can see, he has been made to work very, very hard to get to this semi-final. Two matches lasting 80 minutes. First against Brise Livadez of France, and then yesterday against Kenta Nishimoto of Japan. So, one wonders whether he's got any more left in him for this semi-final. Ho Kwan Hee, 26 years of age and is presently number 35 on the world ranking, but I I still think he's he's much, much better than 35. His best ever is 32 and he spent two weeks as number 32 and that was in March 2020. He played Victor Axelsen, the Olympic champion in the first match, but uh, Axison decided to retire after being 1-0 up. And then he's won his two matches in two straight games and really not been under any sort of pressure, in my opinion. The umpire for the match is uh, Sergeant of France. And uh, the service judge is Miyasake of Japan. Well, I think we need to mention before we get going that Ho Kwan Hee was the player that put Kento Momota out of the Olympics two months ago in Tokyo. 
And that was a major, major surprise when he won in the group. And he succeeded doing so again in the Thomas Cop. When uh, Korea played Japan in the quarterfinal stage, he won in two straight games, 21-19, 21-17 against Momota. And on my left, Shu Chen Chen, Chinese Taipei. Ho Kwan Hui to the third level play. Yes, good attack from Joe. I think it should be mentioned that Ho Kwang Hee was the world junior champion in 2013. And when these two players met last, that was at the Sudam Cup in Finland. And at that time, Ho Kwang Hee won that match 21 17 in that final game. So he's definitely a man revived from a career. I think he has lost quite a lot of weight since I saw him last play and seems to be in so, so much better form. Yeah, that's a lovely shot. Delicate touch, delightful shot. In. However, Cho Chen Chen is disagreeing with that decision, chose to challenge. So let's see what the instant review system is saying. Yes, he's right. It's out. Correction out. Service over. Three, one. Kwang Hee is having a solid defence, so he can has definitely got the shots in the toolbox to make this yet another really hard long match for Cho Chen Chen. And the question is, is he prepared to have another marathon match at the man in the picture? That's a very good smash directed towards the right hip of Ho Kwang Hee. Delightful shot from uh, Cho Chen Chen. Look at this one. Well played. We saw some of the attacking qualities from the Korean.
Yeah, that's long on the back line. And that's a lovely variation from the Korean. Lost the fact that he was not opting for these attacking shots, but uh, more like a drop shot. It's perfect, really, keeping your opponent guessing. So it's over. That's seven five for Cho. Seven five. Haven't used much energy, and that's wide. Joe guessing, he guessed to the forehand side, but the reverse smash to the backhand side. Well, I think there's something really interesting here because normally Cho Chen Chen, if he's given the chance to choose ends, he would choose. Six, eight. The bad end first. But here, I think he has chosen the good end first. So chances are that he's trying anything he can to make this a two-game match and really go for this opening game and then see whether he can take the second game as well. So not having to play another match of three games. Now that's wide of the sideline. By choosing the good end first means that should it go to three games and the change of ends at 11, then he will be standing at the disadvantage. But I think he's trying really to go all out to see if he can get this one in two straight games. Oh, uh, sit long on the back line. At least call long. Let's see what the instant review system is saying. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So, Ten, seven, well done, line judge. Play. He's out. Closing the gap. 8 10. Eight, ten. Yeah, this is an easy put away for Joe, which means that he goes into the mid game into the, with a lead of 11 8 after nine minutes of play. Lovely block shot there, forcing Ho Kwan Hee to dive for the last one. And then, of course, it's just an easy put away.
Sancho commends this game again. 11 8. was a gift from Joe, an easy block shot, not coming over. Yeah, but this is excellent, this one here, look at that. That is excellent from Cho. Such agility. Once again, that shot going out from the back line. This is good play. Yeah, clever. He chose to play to the back of the court. And that's wide. Closing the gap to just that's one fine. point. With the foot. With the foot. <laughs> so this was the longest rally of the match so far, 28 shots. And that was well anticipated. No chance. Good reactions, good anticipation. Look at this one. Yeah. Easy picking. Can't control the back of the court. 15, 20. That's wide. So it's over. 13, 15. But so far, it has definitely not been a physical game. That's what we've seen. The last two days for Cho Chen so Chen. Two times 80 minutes of play. Excellent reactions again from Cho. Good net play. Yeah, 
Ho Kwang Hee finds it really, really difficult to find gaps in that defence of the Chinese Taipei player. But the other way round, Zhou Chen Chen is actually able to score winners on his attack. So a very handsome lead here for Zhou Chen Chen. And make that at 1913. Been playing sharp around the nets today. 19, Another way of shortening the rallies. Stayed in. Well, that one was long at the back line. And this was one of the more 15, physical, 19. hard rallies that the two players have played. 23 shots. Ho Kwan He has chosen not to go for full blown attacks and want to extend this to a long match, saving energy. But let's see if my theory is coming right when we come to the second game because I think this is it. Zhou Chen Chen is taking the opening game in just 18 minutes of play, 21 16.
seconds, 20 seconds. So we're ready to commence the second game. Good performance by Zhou Chen Chen of Chinese game. Taipei. Love all play. 21-15 in the opening game. And as I said earlier, it will be interesting to see whether my theory holds. That Zhou Chen Chen is really very committed to, towards trying to win in two straight games. One love. I usually call him the master of three games. Somehow he so often plays three games and so often he's actually winning them to 16, 17 or 18. But he's already had two of those in this tournament. Oh, that's an awesome defence. Really, really good defence from Ho Kwang Hee. Service over. One all. Yeah, look at that. And then just placing that one into the deep backhand corner. set in the latter stages of the opening game that the whole kind of he really wants to try to extend the rallies it's not going for attack just retrieving getting everything back and now standing on the better end of the court and of course that means that Cho Chen Chen needs to learn to control the length of his shots as he's playing with the drift it's a fascinating one. encounter Stayed in. Taking chances on the back Service line at the moment, Joe. Three, two. an easy one. Bung Yi tried to surprise his uh, opponent with uh, a cross over. here from a very low position, Three. but oh. all anticipated. And that one was given no chance of coming back. Defense, excellent defense, and that's wide. We have to give it to Joe. Great attack. Six, 
ลุยเนี่ย that's a lovely one and that's he needs to do now and again otherwise I think uh, Joe is just simply losing the respect for for his attack and say okay I can sit back it's no trouble sometimes he needs to explode to make sure that uh, he's keeping his opponent on his toes Seven, four. That's a great lift Good variation. Great variation from Ho Kwang Hee. Service over. Yeah, look at this one. Lovely, lovely placement. Making use of the full court. That's in. It's landed in. But that shot from such a low position from Joe going cross court of the net, setting up a beautiful opportunity to play the spinning net shot for the opponent. This time he got away with it. Having a strong tendency to play a lot of his shots from a very low position. Nine, Joe. Five. Something I really think he could benefit a lot from if he was changing that pattern a little bit. Now 10 5 up. 10 5. long so I have to say coming Service into this match and you know looking Six, at it when ten. I was doing my preparation I thought this could be a very very interesting match but so far Cho Chen Chen has completely surprised me and done really well here in the sense that he's still physically very very strong playing with good pace good attacks and uh, I think he's got a game plan So that reverse smash once again. And that is a very good one. Something I think you should use a little bit more. Seven, ten. line which means that so Joe is going into the end mid game into it with a lead of 11-7 
Here we saw that beautiful reverse smash from Ho Kwang Hee. But it will be interesting to see whether he's having a more clear-cut plan after this mid-game interval, Ho Kwang Hee, because uh, he needs to start to find the answers here. is highly highly unusual starting with this high serve in the men's singles these days that was some 30 40 years ago the high serve was very much in favor but it can be used as a variation i guess which is of course always very good Six-point lead, 14-8. I think the running game is over for Ho Kwan Hee. I really think he should go on the attack now as much as possible because any given opportunity... Oh, that's a beauty. Any opportunity from this man to Cho. Cho will take it and he will go for it. play closing down the net very well the Korean it's a tight one this one from uh, Joe but nevertheless well put away from uh, Ho Kwang Hee Yeah, this time it was uh, Joe trying to do the same, but not that 11, decisive. Uh, it's a little bit too loopy. Gave an opportunity for his opponent, and look at that, guiding it into the open space. So the 
Six point gap is halved to three. 11 14. In. Yeah. That's a shot to perfection. Service over. 15 20. Yeah, that's really perfection. Close to both lines at the back of the court. He's going on the attack a lot more, and that's actually what he did in Tokyo at the Olympics when he beat one of the favourites, I would say, Kento Momota of Japan in a group match. He was relentlessly attacking. Thank you. Uncle, please. Just two points in it. And will we see more attacks from the Koreans? Let's see. Yes, we will. Definitely changing tactics again. Closing down the net. I think he's faulted at the net. I don't think he realizes yet. Yeah, he's totally confused. You hit the, you hit the net. What? You hit the net. Yeah. Mid punt? Yeah. Mid punt? Yeah, you touch. Oh. Mid punt hit. Please play on. Oh. Yeah, he's totally confused and I can actually Mid understand. Touch. Please play oh. on, yeah. I think he was far from. Go on for please. You touch. Oh. Come. Come. Go. Go. You need to play now. 16. Yeah, that's a tough one play. for Ho Kwang He. I didn't see it anyway, that there was a touch on the net. But anyway, 16-13. And a much more aggressively playing Ho Kwang Hee at the latter stages of this second game. Oh. Put away so well. Three point gap, 17 14. Now look at that, he's far from it. Great smash from the Chinese Taipei player. Oh. And this time he missed it. Had a second chance there once again. Hope he completely similar situation, but this time he missed it. The 
first game was very, very important to Joe. I'm quite sure, and that's why he chose the end he did. He wanted to try to finish this match in two straight games, and he's on his way of, to do that. Clipping the top of the tape. That shot, the block shot from Cho. And it's just deflected enough for his opponent to make a mistake. And this was the longest rally of the match. 39 shots so far. Thank you. Just two points away from entering the final. Yeah, that's a good shot. This time, Ho Kwang He succeeded in having one of these long rallies that he actually wanted to have a lot earlier in the match. It's fine. Wait, could you put this? Wait, could you put this? So, 15-19. say it's seen many times before today that Cho has been in a situation like this and then lost a bit of concentration but I don't think that's happening today 20 match point 15 so it's over 20 match point 15 The first one come and gone, but we have a challenge on it. Yeah, it's definitely out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. But he's still got a challenge left, so I think it was more what we call a tactical challenge in this case. 16-20. Two match points saved. This is tough. Going for one again. 
and he makes it. Fantastic smash straight down the line to finish off this match. Thirty-six shots it took for the match point. Uh, great sportsmanship. We were treated to a very nice uh, semi-final. Empire confirms for Cho Chen Chen the number four seeds from Chinese Taipei. Here we see the final smash of the match. Here we got the confirmation 21 15, 21 17 in 46 minutes of play. And it all started this morning with a mixed doubles where Yuta Watanabe and Risa Hikashina of Japan, the bronze medalist from the Olympics. 1, 21, 18, 22, 20 against the World Tour final winners of 2020, Dichapon Porban Ranukro and Sapsavi Tanachai of Thailand. That was followed by a women's singles and the major surprise by Sayaka Takahashi winning 18, 21, 21, 16, 21, 12 against the reigning world champion Uttala V. Sindhu of India. The last match was a men's singles, and we just saw Cho Chen Chen of Chinese Taipei, the number four seed, a former winner here at the French Open in 2014, winning 21-15, 21-17 against Ho Kwang He of Korea. So I do hope that you have enjoyed this morning with us. Please join us again later today, more specifically at three o'clock local time when we go live again from the French Open 2021. Until then, from myself, Morten Frost and the rest of the crew, bye for now.